Hello, my name's Louise. I'm one of the theatre nurses here at Queen Victoria Hospital. Uh, to follow on from our microsurgical instrument setup, we are going to have a look at the Venus Coupler, uh, which for us comes in uh, three instruments in one set. We have the coupler instrument itself, we have a measurer, and we have a pusher, or also known as a hockey stick. So the coupler um, comes with three main parts to it. We've got the end which opens and closes the coupler once it's attached. We have a release button here and a turning mechanism to open and close the coupler. So just so you can have a look at it there, it will move it up and down. So it's always important to check when you're first getting it out that you're checking that your turning mechanism works properly and that it is very, very smooth and there's no jolting or getting stuck. Um, while we would keep it open, we don't lock it in the open position as this can cause a jolt underneath the microscope and the vessels are very, very delicate. So the measurer, they will use the measurer to assess the size of the lumen and therefore which size coupler they're going to use. So it has got the millimetre size on the side there. This does come either as a single or double sided or single and double ended instrument. In this case, this one will only go up to, to three millimetres, but others are available. And then once that's been decided, you've got uh, the pusher or the hockey stick, which, um, given the, the name for its shape, is used to help to hook the wall of the vessel over the hooks of the coupler. And then in the middle, which you probably won't see, is a very, very small hole, which can just be used to push that, uh, that vessel wall further down onto the hook and ensure the seal. So to show you an example of how this coupler will work, we will first of all check that it opens and closes, which it does. And then once the surgeon has, told, has decided on the size of the coupler, we will then get it open to check the expiry dates um, and line up arrow to arrow and we're listening for a click. And that's how we know that it's properly engaged. So when I'm handing it over to the surgeon, I will tell them the size just to reiterate and make sure it is the right size and I'll also tell them that I've heard it click so they can be reassured that it is. To release it, if for any reason you don't want to hand it over, you're changing it or they've handed it back to you once they've used it, press the button and just pull it away. So if you pop it back on for me, Louise, and then I want you to take the top off and then just demonstrate how you use the pusher over okay the so you'll have the uh, vessel from the graft site uh, and from the flap site sorry and the recipient site coming in here so they will pull the vessel wall over and hook it over these little tiny sharp barbs that you can see on it they can then push down in this mechanism with that little hole I mentioned at the end of the forcep and then once they're happy, they may use some hexal in the, in the lumen and then they will start to close and that will secure it closed. Some as well will like to get a, a mosquito, a very fine artery clip, just to press it to make sure it's nicely sealed uh, and that there's no small holes or gaps in it. Um, and then once they're happy with that, they will then release it and take it apart. Okay, so just a couple of considerations in the coupler size. We tend to measure both ends of the vessels that we're due to anastomose, and we will select then the middle size uh, as the go-to um, coupler size. We always place the coupler on the free end and move that into the fixed end, um, and then you'll have a bit of a job if there's a big size mismatch between the two couplers, but certainly it's easier to get a larger vessel on a smaller size than a small vessel on an overpicked size for coupler as well. And if you notice that the coupler that we've got here has an implantable Doppler, um, we're using a lot more of the implantable Dopplers during the COVID pandemic because it then means that patients can avoid, uh, nursing staff can avoid having to look inside the patient's mouth for flat monitoring. So we're putting a coupler on both, uh, an implantable Doppler on both the artery and the vein. Thank you.